ยอดรงส่งกระเจนจ่าปุ่นอิสระมุลุดงเสียนดอตอลันจีเน่จะได้ยอดรงทุนหน่อเทียนทุนหน่อกุยอินุจึงเจียงเจมุนุงวีกุ
uh, to be here with us. We know that, that the campaign trail has been hard, uh, has been uh, very difficult, but you know, there's uh, always a time when we're always looking forward to it, and that is uh, uh, November 8th. And so all, all of us are looking forward to that date as well, too. But I want to welcome all you guys, and particularly those that are non Hmong speaking. If I start to sway a little bit and start to speak a little bit more Hmong than English, by all means, please ask somebody that is in your table or somebody that is to your right, to the right or to the left, or maybe behind you as well, so that they could explain a little bit in terms of what we are in the program as well. So, ลูกชาติวันเตนนะอ่าอลาบตาเปหาทอเอ่อปีโนเจเปตายะคงคงนอกคงหอเจเปตอตะจูบนสะบันนอเจยาติเจปลานชตอนนอมอนอลาทอเ
Oke, okay. ยังจองจองตู้อุตินาทอยตันเปจอนิจจีจนะจจูจตจอเฮจปะทันนะยาเปจินิงกวนซัวเซงตุดอหนอจอมอเปงมอมะคุชีอ่าหนอยอีมอ
I want to talk about the next 30 days. The next 30 days and what Ying needs here. She needs your financial support, that's for sure. And that's going to help. But it's not just money that's going to win this race. It, it's not who wins, raises the most money, right? When Ying met with me early on to talk to me and, and, and ask me for my support, and we had many conversations. And once I finally said, you know, this is, she's the one I can get behind. This is the one I can believe in. This is who I want as my Ramsey County Commissioner. We started talking and she started asking me for advice. And one of the things I told her, and I learned this from my friend Bob Fletcher when I first ran in 2000. I told her, I said, you, the hardest worker on your team has to be you, the candidate. You will inspire everybody else. But you have to set the pace. You can't look to anybody else to do the work. You have to get out there every single day. And when people see you do that, they will believe in you. You will inspire them to do more for you, to door knock that extra half hour, to drop an extra 100 pieces of lift, to make 20 more phone calls. That's because they believe in you. And you've done that every single day since we had that conversation. You have been the hardest worker in this campaign. But she can't do this alone. It is a big district, 80,000 people. There could potentially be, I had 25,000 people voting in my race when I ran. Who knows how many is going to be voting in this race. She's going to need your energy. She's going to need you to stand up and speak out for her. It saddens me to hear from Ying and family members that they're getting pressure from the other campaign to drop out or to, to say that they don't deserve this or to say, I was first. It's not about who was first. It's not. It's a, the Hmong community has this, it, this is historic. Let me say that again. This is historic. This is not about an opportunity to have a Hmong candidate win an election to have a seat at the table. You have two Hmong women. You will have a Hmong woman on the Ramsey County Board. This is an opportunity where you really get to choose. Who do I want to represent me? Who has the best qualities? Who can I trust? Who has the honesty, the integrity, the compassion to be able to represent our community? You get to choose that. And in the end, you get to celebrate that you will have a Hmong woman on the Ramsey County Board for the first time ever in our history. First time. And so it saddens me when I hear the other, the other campaigning use these tactics of, you know, I want to say negative tactics. Instead of working to, to demonstrate that they're the best, this candidate does it every single day. And now she needs your help. She needs you to stand up. She needs you to speak out. So please humor me here. Let's all stand up and let Yang know she's got this room full of people standing with her for the next 30 days to help her win this election. Hey, was that an awesome speech or what? How about one round of applause for outgoing commissioner Jim McDonough, huh? That was amazing. I can't top that. All I can tell you is that uh, General Vang Pao, VP, was, of course, a very good friend of mine. And he would be so proud tonight to know that she is going to be the next Ramsey County Commissioner. I can tell you when VP and I met, his goal was to work back in, well, talk in 1991. His goal was to work to help children to help the young Hmong youth, many of you which are in this room. Never forget your elders, young ladies, because in the 60s, your, your elders were fighting in the mountains of Longcheng against the communist path at Lao to make sure you were free and you could live your own lives. And when America abandoned you in 1975, General Vang Pao and others, fled across the Mekong River into Laos, into Thailand. Many went to Bon Vinai, other to Nong Pong. It's where she ended up, her family, a Nong Pong refugee camp. Can you imagine where we've come today from a little eight-year-old in Nong Pong refugee camp 
here running for county commissioner, General Vang Pao would be so excited about this moment. This is amazing. And of course, the travels and tribulations of migrating to America and overcoming the hurdles and having the help of so many elders and veterans that are in this room and other people that helped get here. She is, she's on the legacy. She's on the legacy of all the older Hmong that have gone before her. And young people, you will be the next legacy as we move forward. So I just want to say, I could not be prouder. Jim McDonough said it best. She has worked so hard. Now we need to get motivated. We need to work harder than her in order to get her elected. And open up our checkbooks as well. Congratulations. How the hell do I follow that? Wow, what a speech! <laughs> there you go. You know, I guessed that thing, Yang, uh, three months ago, four months ago, something like that. Yeah. And I've been impressed. I've, as, I, as Jim has said, she's been the hardest working candidate in this race. I've looked at her credentials. I've looked at her maturity, look at her, her integrity. When we, when Jim, Bob, myself, Vaughn, Dan Boston decided to make the East Side a better place, we worked as a team. We worked as a team to bring the parking lot to the Hmong Village. And we better not forget uh, our parks that did a ton to, to make it happen. We worked really, really hard to bring the BC, the Bureau of Criminal Apprehension. We fixed up Payne Avenue and Arcade as best as we could. We brought the library at the Metro State and made huge changes at Metro State College where a lot of your kids went and got their degree. I don't know about yourself, but the other part is the financial um, profession. That's one thing I like. Because that's what it's going to take to continue to build business for the Hmong community, for the Hispanic community, for the African American community, and all of us other white guys. And that's really important because if you have businesses, you have jobs for people. Good job. That they can stay in their home. They can feed their family. They can have, love their kids without worrying. So I really think you're going to be the best county commissioner other than Jim McDonough we've ever had. <laughs> so let's get up. I'm going to end with this. I'm going to end with this. You know, everybody talks about working hard. Everybody talks about money. What I'm going to talk about is votes. Because all of the money in the world can't buy an office. It helps. But you need to get your friends, your families, your neighbors out to vote. I'm going to put gang sign up tomorrow in my yard, I've been waiting, because my neighbors follow what I do when it comes to voting. Your neighbors look to see what sign you've got in your yard. So let's work for the next 30 days to remind people to vote for Vang Pao, and to vote at the right place, with all the right things. I almost said vote often, but better not say that. Um, Anyhow, it's really important to get out and vote, get your neighbors out to vote, and I'm going to hand this over to Fawn. Would you like... Okay, we follow the agenda here. That's all. Okay, All right, okay. Thank you. Thank you, my big brother. What an honor, you know. I was limping walking here. People might think that I have gout. I do have gout, but not today. We are into Mokatavu. This is Nunochi Mokatavu. I'm limping because I have blister in my foot. Because I can't keep up with this young lady here, this young grandma. She's doing up every single day, and now I have blister on my foot. So let this be an example. But just to let you know that I managed to walk around Hmong parking lot. 
And I know Tim Mahoney didn't mention about Hmong, Hmong Village parking lot. And he mentioned as a team. Myself, Tim Mahoney, Jim McDonough, Chop Recky, Dan Bostrom. Four of us have worked for years to get money to expand the Hmong parking lot. Anyone else that claim that there's cure funding for Hmong Village parking lot, that's a lie. That is a lie. They blocked them all, yeah, you could teach them each on one day. Chop Recky Tola, they had to tell you a little bit. Pay your job, oh, how Expand Mount Village parking lot. Like to have a new tolling, so you can't, yeah, the loop, bang Mount Village parking lot to know your drama. Hano, your ecology, you want that hard to know you have. But I'm actually happy to be here. I know the Van Powell family the, for the rest of all my life. Live in Nahai Deal. Grew up in Hanai, I see Brother Van Zong. I see Cha, actually I play rubber band with him when I was younger. I see my Yang, but I, didn't really, I see them in Nam Hong as well. I didn't really get to know Yang until I have seen her, known her for 20 years, but I got to know her for the last five years and got to really know her for the last two years because she brought her daughters to come and help me. He brought her daughter to come and help me because of volunteerism. I'm not the only elected official that she helped. She helped Nancy Yang before me. She helped Du Shang before me. She helped Susan Pa before me. I'm only the one that said, I'm going to return your favor. I'm going to help you. And I hope that people value your support going on forward. And then I know that well. And I know Ying to be a hard-working individual. Ying to chao sha ku, shi shu ku. She's an experienced person in making complex decisions. She's a strong, committed person to help others. See, she's loyal to the cause. She is honest. She has integrity. And rise, raise raised by our revered general, Vang Pao, to have courage, compassion, and duty to care for others. And I trust her ability that she will do a great job as our next county commissioner. So on November 8th, on November 8th, let's vote for Vang Pao, Yang Vang Pao to be our next commissioner. And whatever we do, we have to believe. We have to believe that she will win. We have to believe in her integrity. I believe that she's a hardworking person. I believe in her honesty. Do you believe that she is a hardworking person? Yeah. Honest. Not afraid to say. County Commissioner of Eastside St. Paul. And I trust that Yang will win. So thank you very much for giving me this spot, Mike. I will say, go Van Pao. Go Van Pao. Go Van Pao. Go Bang Pow! Go Bang Pow! Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I pass on to my honorable brother, Brother Van Zong, for your blessing. On behalf of the Ledger and Pow family, I would like to thank Kim McDonough, the current Ramsey County Commissioner, District 6. Thank you. Chief Joris Bob Fletcher. He's my father's best friend for many years. Also, uh, Tim Mahoney. And Senator from her for support, my sister 
young one, we know that all of you are working very hard to help her. Also, many of our American friends and many of our mom also help her too. So, on behalf of the family, I would like to thank every one of you and hope that we will win the seat for Ramsey County, uh, County Commissioner for District 6 this November 8th. So, I like all of you just live in District 6 to go and work for her. Thank you. And now I will want to say a few words in home. เพราะว่าเจ้าจะไปจอดเนี่ยจอดเจ้าคือจอดเจ้าพงจะยืนน่ะช่วงหน้าก็ปอดเจ้าเป้ก่อนที่เนี่ยพงก็ไม่ตุ
I thank you very much for your present here tonight. Udena kuwa tahai lumo kagusati asa cha chakudim chamba kinya huna dashi jole chinya na na. Uya achi yeng itu dalau na dalau ibu pesi. Dashi yeng achi hu tu dalau ane tu muniya kuwa na. เอ่อกูจะให้จากคณะเราเราจะให้ตรงนี้ชี้แจกูสร้างให้เยี่ยงยัยตัวกูดคันนี้เด็ดเอาย้อนหลังว่าเราเขาเข้าเรียนที่
背起来，南家那呢？哎，我那是坐缆车的走，哎，到我们那过海，阿边老路没加州，啊，就，啊，那就住没加呢。First of all, thank you so much for being here on this special night. We're here tonight to kick off donation for my sister, Mai Yang, Bang Pao. And also, I would like to thank everybody, especially I see sitting in the front there is Cher Bob Fletcher. He's a dear friend of my father for a long time. And also my brother Sue also worked for you. So thank you for your commitment to, toward the Hmong community. And the next one I would, I would like to thank Senator Fong Ho with your support. You are, the, you, know, you are the beacon light. That's why these days there are so many Hmong running for office. It's because of your guidance. And thank you so much. And we also have Tim Mahoney here. Um, thank you all of you for your support. And I believe that if we have the financial support, I'm sure that November 8th, my sister will win this race. And it's not winning for just the Hmong community. She's Winning for the East Side community, District 6. And I'm sure that she will be a good commissioner for District 6. And I'm so proud of my sister. I'm so proud that all of you have come here to support her. And my family will always remember your dedication your love, your devotion, and your support. And may God bless each and every one of you, and may God bless America. Thank you. The official and community member of the Ramsey County, today I am honored to stand before you to show my full support and gratitude for Yang Wang Pa. It was through her father, our father, General Wang Pao, that I got the opportunity to know Yang Wang Pao and see her grow into ambitious and intelligent woman. I respect, admire, and idolize General Wang Pao. I look up to him as my role model. General Van Pao dedicated, devoted his life to help the Hmong people, and in return, expect nothing. He was a humble man. He led the Hmong people to a new life that gave them the opportunity to dream and prosper. All the great things the General Wang Pao did for his life. One very important lesson he taught his children was to never forget who they are and always give back to the community is very important lesson has always stayed with Yang Wang Pao. Yang Yang Pao is devote, a mother, grandmother. She grew up in a large family who knew the importance of helping others and giving back. Yang Yang Pao is ready to commit the rest of her life to give back to the people of Ramsey County. Yang Yang Pao care for the community and believe that to be united it is important to start from the core the heart of the community 
and bring people together to work for a single cause. She will provide you a platform and the community member of the Ramsey County for your voice to be heard and to welcome new idea that will help shape your community into better and safer place. Yang Wang Pao has the knowledge, experience, dedication, a sincere desire to serve the people of Ramsey County. She will lead this community to a place that will grow and prosper, to a place that everyone will want to be part of. Yang Wang Pao will be the best candidate as your commissioner for Ramsey County. Vote for Yang Wang Pao as your commission as your commissioner on November 8th. Thank you. Now I gotta rephrase that to say it more. Nhân dòng cho nhiều chất gì cho cái tin chúng ta. Mà nó bị tổ hữu của chế nó, nhớ ý một chất chân hành. Bị một ý tổn thải, nhớ này phóng vật bỏ tổn thải. Nên nhớ ý tổn thải tổ thành chế, một lũ lĩ bắt bắt rộng. Nếu là một ý tổn cho, nhớ là hợp rãnh sẽ khảo tỉ. Nên phóng vật bỏ tổ hữu bê hải mình mong. Nếu tổn cho, bê tổn nhớ là nó tích hiểm đây cả nó. Bê thêm một phí đồn. ไอ้เทียมมอนน่ะมอหอไอ้เทียมจอยไอ้เทียมเจไอ้เทียมมอจอยมีตุ้มอยู่ตัวด็อกเตอร์ตัวโลเยอร์ดีอย่ามอในป
เนื้อชีไชเตวนตูไชนอวพลูเทียนเนื้อชีใจป้าใจเปิ้ลเนื้อชีไอตูนึงมั่วสะเกซุนซอลุตูเทียนเนื้อไอตูนึงจ้านจ
le pauvre était tout le temps, il y a le droit de chasser, 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 il ยังเทียตลอวัตุรัมซีเขาที่คอมมิชเนอร์ตอลูกเกาอีนี่ก็วันที่ยี่นะเขาสาวนะเขาโจโตเจนึงก็ที่นั่งจ่าแต่ว่าวันนี้ชี้ชี้จอจ่าลูกคงเชิงเนาะป้าเนี่ยเสียป้าด่าจอหล่อเธอยังว่าป๋อในตุ่มหมวกในตุ่มชายหล่อยังในตุ่มชายซึ่งจื้อจอนอยจอเอี้ยคอ爸爸老跟狗，天也好，养跟狗。我奶我都好，养狗养，天草鞋都一万包。搞路活动也好家，路上搞了么给工地，老村家，那些的老村家，别出到省了，七八村家，搞。如果一年都问自己呢，别有什么样是事，样有就到老挖土，让些考级工没钱那些，到我晓得做。nhớ rằng nhớ chồng tôi, à cháu lù chạy chen, cháu nói cho chữ là nhà cháu thấy cho là tôi hại ta là, thì sư phụ hại ở bên lò lên nọ trâu, bên cháu tu là tu lùa, cháu tu chân thành chế bên chuột mông, của mua lú xe đắp bông, ở nơi xe đời tàu xe bên chuột mông, quần đồ dù là tàu nành gọt bên chợ chồng, bên mông xe đời thêm một chỗ lưng đầu tù xe lò chân nọ chân chữ nhớ cho lú tê chợ mấy cành đời nọ. ủ dậy tôi lò cũ rong xe thế thọ, quên đi sao để cho anh cho anh chồng nên để xe để gì? Giờ sẽ phó nhớ cho mà nó, giờ ít mò chèn chèn, quả bê sẽ đời, quần thể nhẹ thơ, dân và bỏ, dân và bỏ nên dân bao lại để giờ lên từ giờ này phụ nữ tuân sai, mà nên cho sponsor, cho chỗ xa chỗ lưu trong quên đi tao bán nhẹ bán xe nọ, giờ sẽ phó nhớ là phụ nữ nên là cũ vậy. ý tu chân dễ nặng phun, của dân dân chúng này thế chế tiền gì, một chỉ ta thế chỉ cơ, cha thằng ta, của thọ của cho cho thế ta phong, à cứ vượt trò, không mà thế nhang ở ở nơi gì, bên tôi này ở bên tôi nọ, giờ ở bên tôi tuổi ta tuổi tì, và sĩ già luôn luôn mang đồ, nọ chỉ đó nọ, bữa chỉ đó bữa, là lý chủ gì tại là đại ni sơ đại. นี่นะมายังอยากไปดูนายในเทมัวเป็นสื่ออยากเขียนว่าจะเขาเลี้ยงยาจอจอหน้าอยากเรียนกูวันนี้วันสี่กูถอนยอนจองนี่เตะเจตินจีวันนี้ต่อป้าอันนี้นะในพนเจนเองยาจอมานาคุณเจียงหัดแต่ในพนว่าป๋อตุนจุปรียาเราวันนี้จอเห็นเหนือแล้วในเป็นยันเดิมไอ้ท้อก็ยังว่าป๋อไม่ยังไอ้กูท้อว่าเป็นชาวเดิมเชิญจู啊，车个被断菜，没用嘛，帮那个没用，被烧呢也被烧呢，路大路窄，车给我呢，我就车，再给没用，不断呢，嗯，我就晓得了他。哎，古路还多呢，嘛那古人呢也自己古，我呢就是走路转转，那都还他了，我就。嘿，我这古还路呢 ，I want my。Four children to come up here, so everyone can see that I do have a family, and it's not just me. Uh, my son-in-law too. Uh, please come up here. I'm going to give it to my um, campaign manager to say a couple of words while my children make themselves uh, to the front here. This is my campaign manager, um, Jim Kilcoff. Hello, thank you. Hello, thank you very much, everybody. I, and I'm just really grateful and honored to be part of this campaign and to be so welcomed by the Bang family, by the Hmong community, and my family as well feels welcome, welcome here. I also want to start out by also inviting all of our campaign core team to come on up and, and uh, it's recognized up here for your work. So everybody please, that's all the tables right here, everybody come on up here as well. Alexander, everyone, come on up here. Alexander New. Rico. 
Gary Unger. Eddie, Maddie. Gary Unger. Gary Unger. These are, we have a, we have, we have a really broad team. Everybody with a yellow t-shirt. Bung Cha. Come on up. Everyone, I think there's a few people that are, are being bashed. We have, we have a really wonderful campaign team. It has a lot of energy. We have a lot of energy and I know this campaign is going to win because of all of the all the work we're putting in and all the work that our candidate Yang Bang Pao is putting in for this campaign. This is a this is really a winning team. It's an amazing thing to see every day. Um, I'm also brought up here because because as a campaign manager, I can be the bad guy a little bit because we're 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 uh, we're a very positive campaign. Everything we're doing. One of the reasons that that I really chose to work with Ying Bang Pao on this and to help her win is because of the integrity, the honesty, and just the hard work that she puts in every day on this. Just that's an example of what uh, what a county commissioner needs. I don't think a lot of people just going out and door knocking and seeing a lot of people don't understand what a county commissioner does. And uh, really, what the county commissioner is and the, the, that uh, Jim Jim McDonough can can explain is that billions of dollars every year in federal, state, and local aid to individuals, businesses of all sorts flows through the county. That's their job. That people apply through the county to to, to get that. It's the delivery vehicle for all of the aid that, that comes, all the billions of dollars of aid and of government services, criminal justice, lots of government services, elections, all that happens at the county. It's an amazing responsibility. And, uh, and it's charged to actually look after that taxpayer's money, billions of dollars, look after it to not waste it, to not spend it on frivolous things, to not spend it on, on political agendas. And one, one thing that Ying Bang Pao has that her opponent does not have is, is that she's going to approach the job honestly. She looks at the job, what do people need and what does the law say, where should this money be going? Her opponent has political agendas and is running on those agendas. She's endorsed by the Democratic Socialists of America, for example. They have a political agenda and one might, you know, a lot of people might agree with that agenda, but, but one thing I do know is that the history of the, history of the Hmong people was started in Laos a few years ago fighting the socialists that took over and persecuted the Hmong, the Hmong people in that country, in Laos. That was, the, that was the beginning of the new generation that came over and that is what, what uh, Mai Yang's father was involved in, was, was, fighting that, was fighting the socialism that was happening there. Because, why? Because it became, it became dictatorial. It became abusive. It became communist and it became genocidal. And so it's troubling to me to see the same language being used by her opponent that was being used there. People's things like coming, trying to come to office to start a people's movement, trying to start a revolution. That's not what county commissioners do. It's a reasonable thing to do if you're gonna run for city council, and you're gonna run for a legislative seat. That's a reasonable place for an advocate that wants to bring a policy. A county commissioner is supposed to manage money that's delivered by the federal and state government in a way that's equitable, in a way that reaches people, in a way that gets the, 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 the money that the law says that people need. That's what a county commissioner does. It's not a revolutionary position. It's not, it's not a place to start out with that. And I know, and in, in usually county commissioners are people who have been doing things for a while. It's a, it's a position that people go into in middle age or later when they, when they say, okay, this is what we're doing. We have experience. We, we have, uh, we have a, a, a uh, something to something to watch over. There's maturity in that. That is what that is what Ying brings to this campaign, and that's what Ying is going to bring to the seat of county commissioner: maturity, honesty, and integrity.
And, uh, and it's, I think it's important to, to, to make that distinction because I know Ying doesn't. Ying comes out and she says, I just want to say what a good job I'm doing. And, and that's, that's what we're going to continue to do every day. So. With that, I'd like you to introduce our candidate and our future commissioner, Ying Bang Pa. เมื่อช่วงนี้จองดูไปกันเนี่ยก็สีเชิดเลยเทียบกับพุ่งยืนนี่ตกกลงไปรู้กงเชิงหัวหน้ากูมาจองเชียร์กันเก่าแต่สี
with the Hmong culture, we're all behind the scene, raising our children, being good mother. I was a mom, a dad for my kids, a single mom that raised all of my children, and I, I still volunteer. We're still going out in the community, and I'm still taking care of my mother. And then I went back to school too, so I want to teach my children. And I want to be an example for all the girls that are in our Hmong culture that are going through a really hard time. That we're in the land of freedom. This is the land of opportunity. You can be whatever you want. And I'm fighting every single day to be an example for every single girl. I'm, at a, I'm 56. I can retire. I can just travel. But I look around and I see so many girls looking up to me and telling me that I'm a role model for them. You know, I come from a broken marriage and I'm going to tell you, you know, when it's domestic abuse, emotional abuse, uh, you have to make the right choice for your children. And it may not be the right choice for society to look at me. And you look at me and you say, she is from a dysfunctional family. She's not married. She cannot be a county commissioner because she is giving a really bad example for society. And I'm here to tell you, no, that's not right. I am an example of what a strong woman is. My father was the leader of our you know, country. He brought us here and he taught me. My father taught me to be tough. People are going to say whatever they want, but he taught me to be tough. And he taught me to look and see what you're doing for the community. When you leave this world, what are you leaving behind? What legacy are you leaving behind? My dad died, and if anybody's been to his funeral, it's, you know, cost 400000 because we had to do it at a convention. My mom passed away, and she had hundreds and hundreds of mourners because of who she was. And that's the type of parents that I had and that's what I grew up with to be humble to always be humble and I've been in Minnesota for seven years but none of you guys most of you don't know that I'm General Vinkow's daughter because I don't brag about it it's not something where I'm gonna say you know I'm uh, General Vinkow's daughter I, I you know I, uh, I'm higher than above anybody no that's not how my father taught us he taught us to be humble and to love everyone and through all of their leadership and you know through all of the sacrifices that my parents have made um, that's who I am today and I'm running for county commissioner it's not because I want the title to be county commissioner I have 30 years of financial background I'm in management role with a hundred fifty billion dollar company I don't brag about my salary. I never brag about my position. It's, you know, because I'm a very humble person. But I just want to let everyone know today what my qualification is and why I think I can be a great county commissioner. So I, I deal with, you know, $50 billion budget. So I've worked and my role is problem solver. So I'm a problem solver for companies and that's what I do right now. And I look at, you know, Commissioner Jim McDonough, and I look at my community, my minority community that's on the east side. There's a lot of people, you know, a lot of elders that I've spoken with that, you know, are very, are very uh, heartbroken that they don't, their money is not enough to survive. And I see a lot of youth that, you know, because their parents are so busy working, they're in, they get themselves in trouble because they don't have a mentor at home. To guide them and I see all of these and I see you know my children I want to make sure that we have a world that's great for them and living on the east side I you know want to bring that to everyone and that's why I decided to take my experience my education my compassion my love for uh, the resident you know I'm, I'm an engaging person because I can talk and I relate it to everybody and I've gone around the entire district in two months of campaigning we're you know we came in second and that's you know we should all be proud of ourselves and it's because people can see the true genuine caring of a person and that's who we should have as our county commissioner and i want all of you to you know especially our Hmong culture it's not who put their name in first my dad brought us to america to get rid of that notion he brought us from communist country where we were nothing. We didn't even have a certificate that says 
we were born in Laos. We were hills people. We didn't have anything. So he brought us to America and I want us to embrace the American system. Let us mom sisters fight against each other for a seat. Show our true color, our compassion. And when, you know, whoever wins, shake the other person's hand and the love in the community continue on. So it saddened me and I'm really, really sad when I hear all the bad things that are said about my family, that are said about me, because I know that we are better than that. And I want to thank all of my Nya uh, in the, my, Hmong, my Vang family for all of your support. And tonight I want to thank all of my Vang family for putting this together. We might not have a lot of people here, but we sold 70 um, tables. So we're very, very excited. <laughs>